Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video in which we are going to be playing with the brand new Colored Rain and Power collaboration. This is a fairly new limited edition launch to the Colored Rain collection. I have loved Colored Rain palettes in the past. This is especially true of the Safari Rain palette and when I saw this collection launch, I knew I was going to have to pick it up. As usual, I'll be sharing swatches with you in this video as well as a demo of how I created the eye look as well as my thoughts on the collection as a whole. Before we get into all that, if you're new here, I'm Jody. Thank you for clicking on my video. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll consider subscribing for brand new videos every single week. I upload three times a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. Before I get into the details of the collection, this is a collaboration with a TV show called Power. I believe it is on Stars just because of the information that I see on the palette, but I must admit that I have never seen the show or really heard of it outside of this collection. I purchased the collection because of my love of Colored Drain products. That aside, if you think it's a show I should be watching, definitely give me the cliff notes in the comment section down below because I'm always ready to check out a new show. I just finished watching Game of Thrones and I'm looking for something else to watch. So briefly, I'm looking on my phone so that I can give you the information. The collection consisted of an eyeshadow palette that retails for $29. There were also four blush and highlighter duos that retail for $25 a piece. So you have those four color options to choose from and they're really well divided into like light, medium, deep skin tones. There's one very interesting palette which has a very deep red blush but a very icy highlight which is a really interesting combination. I decided to go for the option in damage control which I thought would be the most suitable for my skin tone and it really is. The collection included a lip gloss for $15 and two matte liquid lipsticks that were $17 a piece but I decided to pass on those specific products. There were also three matte bullet lipsticks at $17 a piece and I passed on those as well because even though I like their formula those colors were purple really deep colors and not necessarily a lot of shades that I would get a lot of use from and I really need to watch it with my makeup collection especially with lip products that tend to go bad a little bit faster. There were also four glitter toppers. They're called glitter toppers. I read through the description and I honestly was not able to tell if they were lip toppers or if they were like eyeshadow toppers. Because of the shade selection, I am inclined to think that they were eyeshadow toppers. Plus in the description, it says that there's no fallout, which is typically a term that we use in reference to eye products. So that leads me to believe that they are like Stila liquid shadows, but they may be lip toppers as well so I'm not exactly sure if you know let us know in the comment section down below but I opted not to pick up any of those products either so this is the eyeshadow palette and it has like a soft velvet feel to it it has black roses on the cover I don't know if you'll be able to see it I think so and it says colored rain and power eyeshadow palette on the back side it just states that it is a collaboration with stars and power you get nine grams of product and it is made in the USA so that means you're essentially getting about one gram per shade. This palette is similar to the Safari Rain palette in that it slides out of the sleeve and the inner packaging is very reminiscent of the outer sleeve so you don't have to retain that if you don't want to. And the back side of the palette actually gives you more information about the ingredients and the shade names as such. Now Colored Rain is a cruelty free brand. The palette was made in the USA and you have a 12 month shelf life. When you open up the palette, here is what your shades look like. You do have four matte shadows and five metallics. The palette does have a magnetized closure. The names are listed inside the palette, which is something I always appreciate. I do have a tendency to prefer a lot more options in terms of mattes when I'm creating my eye looks, but to be honest, I love the colored rain metallic formula so, so much that I don't mind that there's more metallics than mattes in this specific palette. Now I have to apologize, the metallic reflected gold palette kind of messes around with the focus and the light settings on my camera, so if it's looking a little off, I'm sorry, there's just not much I can do with the reflective nature of the palette. If I didn't mention it, it does have a very nice mirror and a magnetized closure. Now if you know me, you know my love of color and so I wanted to get really creative with the eyeshadow palette. I specifically wanted to use the shade Truth, which honestly in the screen it looks blue, but it's a true violet shade when I see it in person. I created my eye look with a very strong intention to use that shade. The metallics that I used in my look were Truth as well as Respect and they performed absolutely beautiful 
beautifully. I used Respect Dry on my eyelid and it's just beautiful metallic eyeshadow just like I would expect from Colored Rain. I did use the shade Legacy in my inner corner and this one is a little bit more of a dry formula because there's not a lot of base pigment to the shadow itself. It's one of those iridescent topper or transformative shades and it has a lot of pink and purple in there which is really nice because it's very cohesive with the rest of the palette. That is the color that you're seeing on my inner corner today. Now with regards to the color selection, Colored Rain does typically gear their products more towards people of color and so the matte shades are a little bit deeper. I would like to mention however that the shade Testify and the shade Snitch, they're relatively similar when you apply them to the eye. The only thing is that Snitch is a little more red and Testify is a little more purple. I would have preferred to have replaced one of those shades with something a little bit more cool tone so that you can really play on that Truth shade or maybe switch out that alibi shade which is just a really deep metallic shade which I don't use too often so in that case it's more personal preference but I just think that one of those shades could have been replaced with something else to make the palette color story a little bit more wearable for the everyday situation. I was actually just watching a video by my friend Ashley Crutchfield and she created two eye looks one of which was a more wearable everyday kind of eye look and she used a combination of those three shades and it was a beautiful eye look on her. So you can definitely do more wearable looks, but me being myself, I definitely had to play in the more bold color options in the eyeshadow palette. Now that's a little bit different than the colored rain in that the colored rain kind of slips in and out of the sleeve in the downward fashion and then the palette actually opens upward like this. Now I have to admit that I continue to prefer the Safari Rain palette both in terms of packaging as well as in terms of color selection because I'm more drawn to greens and golds than I am purple shadow even though I find purple shadow to be very beautiful on occasion. So personally if you were debating between the two I still prefer Safari Rain but the quality in the power palette is absolutely beautiful and if you are more drawn to this color story I don't think you'll be disappointed in the formula just expect super super pigmented eyeshadows. The highlighter and blush duo is pretty much the same style it slides out of the sleeve. Now in this one you have also ingredients listed also made in the USA 9 grams total products 12 month shelf life just like the eyeshadow palette. Like I mentioned the color way that I selected is the one in damage control. Now Colored Rain has highlighters in their collection already but this is my first experience with them and I have to say they are a little bit more of a powdery formula. They are, have that heavier kind of feel when you swatch them and when you apply them you get a very intense payoff. I applied this highlighter completely dry and I did not apply setting spray over it and that was the end result. It's super intense. Now that being said if you have texture in that area like any highlighter would it is going to accentuate a little bit more but obviously if you use setting spray it wouldn't be as much as you're seeing right now on my face as far as the blush it's really firmly pressed but very pigmented so I actually used a Sephora collection and you'll see it in the demo highlight brush which is a very soft synthetic brush it picked up the powder beautifully and it gave me really good diffuse blush application I actually like this a lot more than I thought I was going to so I'm definitely pleased with my product selection from the collection those are pretty much my thoughts on the collection I do want to show you how I created the eye look it was really easy to create and I actually used a metallic shadow in the crease which is not something that I use often but I was able to blend it out as you'll see so that it doesn't really attract negative attention per se to my crease area but it deepens out the look quite a bit and I was able to create this beautiful smoke yeah I'm really happy with it so I hope you'll enjoy that let's go ahead and run that clip now I really want to do a look incorporating the shade truth but I'm having a hard time visualizing how to combine it with all of the other shades since this is a very cool tone shade. It's funny, it almost looks like royal blue on my camera, but it is more of a deep violet. I'm going to go ahead and start with the shade Deception because it's really the lightest shade in the palette and the only one that could potentially be used as a transition. I mean, that's not true. You can use anything as a transition, really, but that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to take that on a Smith 235 and I'm going to start to lay it on my crease.
Once I have most of that intensity in the crease area, I do kind of run it upward in sort of a gradient since I don't have a lighter shade to blow it out with. But I think that blended out really well. I want to go into the shade Respect next and I'm very excited about this. I love colored rain metallics. So I'm going to take a MAC 242 and I'm going to apply this from inner corner to about the center of my lid. These two shades actually go really beautifully together and there's a bit of um, like a pink purple shift in the shade that I really like. It's really pretty. Colored Rain Metallics really never disappoint in my opinion. So I'm going to go into that Truth shade and I want to use it on my lower lash line so I'm going to use a MAC, I think this is a 219, it's so old that the number is faded, but I'm going to dampen my brush because I don't want any fallout and I'm going to use that all along my lower lash line. So I've picked up the color and I'm going to spray it. This brush is actually a little bit thicker than I wanted, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring this upward as well and apply a little bit to the outer V so that it kind of comes together. I actually think that color is really pretty and I think that you can definitely pick up the purple vibe a lot better than it looks in the pan. It almost looks like that's not even the shadow I applied. I think it's the metallic surface of the palette that's messing around with the lights. The shade Legacy is the one I want to apply on my inner corner, so I'm going to do that with a Luxie 141 brush. So that's going in the inner corner. Oh, this is like a really bright uh, iridescent pink color. It looks very white in the pan, but when you apply it, it's definitely iridescent pink. And rather than repeating the same brush, because I do want to go back into the shade Respect here, I'm just going to use the same brush I used on the top lid, and I'm going to spray this one down again. Again, this is just because it's going on my lower lash line, and I don't want any fallout by my concealer. And now I'm going to take a clean Luxie brush. This is a 231. And I'm just going to blend the edges of that shade so that it's not quite so harsh. And I'm going to do that along the upper and lower lash line. This is something I like to do whenever I apply shimmery shades in the crease area. You can kind of diffuse it into the matte and then I think it looks nice. It's blending upwards quite nicely as well, even though I didn't have any additional product on my brush, so that's good. Now I'm going to take just a tad more of the Deception shade on the Smith 235. This is a very fluffy brush, so it doesn't pick up and deposit a lot of color. And I'm just going to go right over the edge, almost as if I'm applying it over the Truth shade. And then once most of the color is deposited, then I start to pull it outward a little bit so that it gradually fades and that's going to be the foundation for the eye look I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera and then we'll be back to try the little highlight and blush duo that I picked up with the collection as well very excited to see how that's gonna work out and we're back what a difference some lashes make right aside from the lashes I'm also wearing Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade missed me I have that in the inner waterline now I did apply just a little bit of black eyeliner on top of my lashes to discuss guys my lash band but no, there's no wing liner or anything like that my hair is completely dry I have been filming for hours now but that's okay at least I have to let heat style it a little bit less in any case I want to go ahead and get into this little beauty I'm not sure that the blush is going to be ideal for what I'm wearing today but we're gonna make it work and the highlighter should be fine as well so I picked up the shade damage control there are a number of palettes for you to choose from I was so tempted to get the one with the red but the highlighter in that one was so icy I didn't think it would suit my skin tone most of the others were curated in such a way that it would fit like a certain portion of the skin tone spectrum but that red and white one seemed like it was a highlight for very very fair skin tones and then a blush that would be for deeper skin tones I was so tempted but I just wasn't sure I'd be able to wear it so I wanted to make sure I could get something where I can use both products so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the blush actually I'm gonna hold that thought <laughs> let's do the highlighter first I actually like to do my highlight and then my blush I'm gonna use this little brush it was uh, something from Mali let me go in with the lighter side first and I'm going to dip into that highlight 
Okay, that was pretty intense. So I actually am going to switch and then buff that in with the other side of the brush because it was actually quite intense. I had applied a little bit of a liquid highlight underneath here, but then I powdered over it because I didn't like the way it looked. So pretty much any highlighter that you're going to be seeing is going to be from this palette. That's a very intense highlight. Now, it is a little bit on the powdery side, but it also looks to be like one of those highlighters that really melds into the skin once you apply setting spray. Let's repeat on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and use those slight buffing motions. Now, I believe Colored Rain has highlighters in their line already, although this is my first experience with them. But as far as blush products, I think this is their first blush product. So I'm going to take the Sephora collection. It's a highlight brush, but I think it's a good shape for blush. And I'm just going to apply it oh so very lightly. I have a lot of color going on on my eyes, and I don't want to, you know, kind of look clownish. I like to balance things out. I love something to be bold, but not usually the entire entire face. This is a gorgeous shade of blush. It's very pigmented. I went in with such a light hand. Look at that color. Wow. Very pretty. And this is a matte blush. There's no shimmer in there to speak of. That's a really pretty shade. I thought it was going to be more pink, but it has a very nice peachy turn to it. Oh, I like it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm going to try to bring some of that highlight right underneath the brows. The palette didn't have a highlighting shade for me, so I'm just going to apply a little bit there. I'm like barely tapping into the pan. So this is the look I created with the collection. I'm really happy with it. I do need to run and play with some lip colors as well as fix my hair. But so far, I'm really impressed and I'm really loving the way that the look turned out. So this is your finished eye look. I chose the Bite Beauty lipstick. This is the Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. It's just a mini that I purchased in a holiday set. But I'm really loving the way my makeup looks today. I think it looks really pretty and everything performed just beautifully. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing that look. I really love the way it turned out as I mentioned and I think it goes beautiful with peachy lip colors and so that's what I went with today. I hope you enjoyed this little look into the collection. I hope it was helpful. If you were wondering about the duos, I definitely think they're high quality. I think they're a little bit pricey at $25, but you're really getting like two full size face products here. And that's actually not that far off from a product you would pick up at Sephora or Ulta Beauty. And those brands that they carry there are sometimes even higher priced. So I think that the quality is actually really good. So if any of those duos call your attention, I think they're a go. And if you have that red silver one, I need to know. How is it? I'm so curious about it. That's pretty much everything for this video. Please don't forget that I did give you information about Ashley Crutchfield's channel. I'm going to leave her video linked in the description box so that you can check out two more beautiful looks on someone of a deeper complexion than myself. She does a great job on her channel as well. I really think that you should check her out. She's amazing. Other than that, that's everything for this video. I'm actually doing a foundation review and I have a lot of filming and editing to do tonight. So I'm going to stop myself here. I hope you enjoyed the video if so please don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me i appreciate it so so much and i know i'm behind on responding to comments but i see you i promise i see you it's just uploading three videos a week and a full-time job and all this it's it's a lot but i really want my channel to do well and so i'm trying to put in a lot of time into my videos and hopefully you'll understand it takes me a little bit to get to your comments but i see you i see you and i absolutely adore you thank you so much i hope you're having a wonderful day i look forward to reading your comments on the collection down below and seeing you again on my next video which will be very very soon bye bye